Columbia City, looking towards Geraldine's, that y'all sign probably in the middle of your screen. Just picked up some. So I don't have my microphone or my Joby stick I'm holding the phone with my hand. Uh, I'm just walking back to the car. This is Thursday now. I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Give you one last look at uh, this would be the walk from Columbia City back towards my brother's house. I'm not going to walk the whole way. I have my car here. But this is what it looks like. And right over here is my car, which you can't see. Goodbye. Here's the car. Set. 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 What up? Well, hello, everybody. Here I am at the first supercharger in Centralia, Washington. I left uh, Seattle around 11, 10, 10.30. Um, I went to a teriyaki sushi takeout called Gigi's in Centralia. Here's my cucumber salad. I guess where I'm eating it, in the car. Why am I eating in the car? Because you can't eat in the restaurant. So this is life for a while. We'll see how it goes. Um, pretty dead around here. There's a McDonald's and a lot of franchises, Taco Bell. Thought there was this good teriyaki sushi place. So I decided to have a lunch. Then it's off to Astoria after this, and I'll probably look for a motel so I can start my journey tomorrow doing the Confluence Project, Maya Lin's Confluence Project. So we'll pick it up in the morning. Goodbye. Here's the view I get from the window, looking through the window. Sushi places directly ahead. Okay, and I got a big takeout garlic teriyaki chicken. Huge portion, two big balls of rice. And it came with another small salad. So pretty well set here for lunch. Back in Astoria, and there's the Astoria Megler Bridge. Remember I shot that in the rain back in January. So here's how it looks in March. You actually see it across the river. This is the Columbia River. It's a much better view today. Tomorrow I'm going to go find this art project. But here I am. Uh, it's around 4 o'clock. Tracking out at the Astoria Megler Bridge. Much sunnier than it was in January. Looks like a total different place. So I'm going to walk around and get a little exercise today. And tomorrow we're going to go look for the beginning of the Maya Lin's project. Cape Disappointment State Park, Waikiki Beach, and beginning of the Confluence project here. So it looks like here we have three things to look at. The cir Cedar Circle, the Amphitheater and Walkway, and the Boardwalk. Wow, that's pretty cool. Here's the water. Right here. So this is the boardwalk. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a guy surfing out there. That looks very cold. <laughs> there's a Waikiki Beach. The boardwalk ends right here. There's the last one. 
Uh, two point distress on the star side. I guess these are the different um, places that Lewis and Clark visited. Lower village of the something. Hard to read them, kind of get full of sand. You can see the inscriptions there. So here's Waikiki Beach and some of the driftwood. This is the driftwood that I assume they uh, made those columns out of. And that's a big promontory right there. Rock. And then we're looking back to see the circle way up there straight ahead. And then the amphitheater. We're seeing the boardwalk. And our friendly lawnmower. And that's pretty much what you. That's pretty much the uh, entirety of the confluence project at this portion of the state park. So you got this poem written. Continues. And here is the amphitheater. Waikiki, Be Waikiki Beach beyond. So that boardwalk that we were on before went out to Waikiki Beach. Okay, so every so many feet you get it in more of the poem. I think this is an Indian poem. And this must be the cedar circle. So cedar columns were really look like trees and uh, apparently that stump is an old cedar that predated the uh, white man's discovery of this area here's a cedar stump and get the facts about this can't remember all those facts. Uh, not too far from the beginning of the project here, Waikiki Beach. So I believe that these grasses and dunes were reclaimed or uh, created here um, as part of the project. So the landscaping too, very subtle. You wouldn't know it if you didn't read about it. Um, okay, so to get the facts correct, the boardwalk, which were those concrete slabs going out to Waikiki Beach, and they're inscribed with the um, sum summarization of the Lewis and Clark's journal for the entire 4,133 mile trip from St. Louis to the Pacific Ocean. And then the amphitheater trail, which is made of crushed oysters, we're just walking on that, and uh, that's inscribed with the Chinook Praise Song, which was recited on November 18, 2005, which was the 200th anniversary of the arrival of Lewis and Clark. And then the Cedar Circle, uh, was made up of drift, cedar driftwood columns that were found on the beach and were resurrected and, uh, and placed around that uh, ancient cedar trunk that predates the arrival of Lewis and Clark. So now we have to go in the car and um, go over to Baker Beach to see the fish cleaning table which, which I've heard has been taken down and then there's a viewing platform as well. So those are the facts. Gotta get the facts. Always gotta get those facts right. So you can see on this map, down by the parking area, that you see the boardwalk, the amphitheater, and the cedar circle. All right? And then up here, at another parking lot, is the fish cleaning table and viewing platform. That's where we're headed. Here we are at the fish cleaning table. I guess it's still here. I heard it wasn't here. There's a bird, a seagull, watching it for us. This is made out of basalt, and uh, apparently they actually use it for cleaning fish. Hello, seagull. 
And now you see it. The fish cleaning table. Here's a fish cleaning table and it is also inscribed. Kind of hard to read it with all the bird poop on it. Ages ago an old man named to Luke and on it goes. Okay, there's the table. When you look out at the bay. Beautiful area here. And uh, there's a boat launch right here. And that's the road down to the parking lot. It's a view of the fish cleaning fish cleaning table from the side. Okay, so here's the final exhibit, trail to the viewing platform. And I think this also has looks like the crushed oyster shells in it. Here we are, walking out to the viewing platform. This is where Lewis and Clark ended their journey at the Pacific. Started in the mouth of the Missouri River, 4,133 miles away from here. It's a long way. Here's a curving bridge. Wood bridge. And this must be the viewing platform. That's it. And here the inscribed concrete. Maya Lynn likes to inscribe stone. Seems to be a theme of hers. Let's see, I could read this one not too long. It says, Friday 15th. This morning the weather appeared to settle and clear off, but the river remained still rough. Went about three miles when we came to the mouth of the river, where it empties into a handsome bay. Well, there's the handsome bay. Bay has many names, Indian names, white man names. I won't tell you the name. You can name it whatever you want. Now who says who gets to name stuff anyway in this country? Okay, here's another inscription at the end of the viewing platform. Patrick Gass of Lewis and Clark's Corps of Discovery on November 15, 1805. As they arrived at the mouth of the Columbia River, a saltwater estuary where the dynamic mixing of fresh and salt water influences life over thousands of square miles, providing critical habitat for plants, animals, and microorganisms. Microorganisms including COVID-19. That's one I guess we could live without and we're living with. That's a town of Vilwaco over there. I don't know how you pronounce that? Well, I've shown you the entirety of the confluence project that's out here at the Pacific Ocean. So our next site is to go to Vancouver, Washington, where the next site is River Site is. That's about an hour and a half drive from here. So we will continue our journey when I arrive there. Goodbye.